Shohei Otani is in for the World Baseball Classic in 2023. I cannot wait. A little more than 100 days before the tournament opens. And here was the post on Shohei Otani's Instagram page hours ago. He is in. Manager Hideki Kuriyama, interestingly, Matt, uh, Kuriyama-san was Shohei's manager with the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters him up in for many years summer. in NPB. So this goes way back. He has a chance now to play for his longtime manager. Uh, we assume he's going to pitch and hit. What a lineup they're going to have for Team Japan. Murakami, who of course made the run at Sadaharu O's, um, for a home run record for Japanese born players in MPB and actually surpassed it during the course of the past season. So I can't wait to see where Otani and Murakami end up matching up and, and working together in Team Japan's lineup for the World Baseball Classic. And I would say as well, Matt, this is great news for the tournament, great news for Team Japan, great news for baseball fans everywhere. Uh, I would say complicated news for our colleague Mark DeRosa, who must now find a way to find a way to defeat uh, Shohei Otani and Team Japan should they meet there in the semifinals or the finals in Miami. So uh, for Team USA, this is complicated news, but it's great news for the tournament. As I said in my text to Dero this morning, best versus best. You want all the best out there. You want to be able to beat the best. And now that is the task for Team USA and Mark DeRosa. D Dero's not worried about this at this moment. He's home with his lovely wife. My wife smoke, so yeah. it makes me smoke. <laughs> smoke. So uh, it, it, it is great for baseball. You know, here's the thing with Shohei. He, the guy just wants to play. If anybody could go into, like, self-preservation yeah. mode for his body and his impending enormous contract, which is coming after this year, it's this dude. He wants to play. And you think he should. And, and you just mentioned it, the contract year of next year, that's going to be very important for him, uh, depending on, you know, what he's going to end up getting. Yeah. But realistically, uh, I'm, I'm loving the fact that he's excited to go play in front of the fans in Tokyo because – Assuming Japan makes it to the quarterfinals, yeah. they're going to be hosting games in Tokyo, Japan. He's going to get to play there in front of those fans. That is going to be a really, really fun thing to do. I, I got to go over there and play Tokyo in, in 2012 uh, to open the season with the A's, A's Mariners. It was an amazing experience. And I can tell you, we, we had a couple of uh, exhibition games against, I believe it was the, the Giants, and, and I think there was one other team. Uh, but it was so much fun because when their players were, were at the plate, they had all the chants, they had these songs, they, they were so loud. Then we would come up to the plate, and it was... I'm talking as sil dead Crickets. silent as it could be. <laughs> I could hear guys' cleats going into the, the dirt, like, in front of me. And I'm, I'm going, wow, this is just weird. But they were uh, just unbelievable fans. It was an unbelievable atmosphere. They're going to have so much fun uh, watching and, Shohei. And next Shohei's going to knock out some uh, – he's going to knock out some less than major league pitching. Sayonara. Yeah, he's going to say sayonara to a bunch of those guys <laughs> for sure.